I have an idea. It looks quite happy where it is. There we go. Great, Scott. You're purple. Uh, um. Yes. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. If you'll excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? All right. I can't. It's behind the glass. Let's see. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey, you came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Ha! <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. See why no one wants them as pets? I'm uh, here see. to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about club tentacle? Hey, uh, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Let's see, what else can I do? Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> that was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Hmm. Well, I know what to do with the vinegar. Get close to him. Let's see, use this. Okay. Long door. Okay. 
pick this up. Here we go. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. It's Red's battery. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. There we go. Okay. There we go. Dum -de -dum. <laughs> Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. Okay. Uh, this was his room, I think. Oh, nope, wrong one. Something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history! No, there's no fuse! So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything! You just push it! The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's go. Right. So. There we go. Now. There we go. We You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. 
Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Boom. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. There we go. I think that's everything for this time period. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now I know what to do. There we go. Let me just try one little thing. Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. Suck can it, son. This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Ooh, heck! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right, come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. Okay. What's in here? I don't think so. I would, but who would see it? Would look good, but what's the occasion? Okay, push it then. There we go. Let's see. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. 
Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Okay. That was one good looking tentacle. I'd rather save that until he's ready to be judged. Okay. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Let's see. Do this. Then that. And then finally this. All right. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm a healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But hmm. I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Bye-bye. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. All right. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. <laughs> That's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Oh, there we go. Three. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. <laughs> I like the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. There we go. And finally. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best left? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. 
Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. There we go. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We got to get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. There we go. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Aww. Still wondering about the thief and the crowbar. What was I supposed to do with that one? Here you go. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Ah, Gene Tentacle. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should! Big deal! I said you're free, now get off your fat lazy butts and start enjoying it! Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Ah. Oh, here I go out the door. Oh, I do so enjoy these freedoms that my forefathers fought and died for. Give it up. Sheesh. Okay. I know what I need now. There we go. Can't get close to him. This ought to be good. There we go. How'd they get that cat? Hmm. Let's see. Constitution amendment to the Constitution. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lad, I have an idea. Does it have anything to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes. 
Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good. And so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? There we go. Gotta be something to do. What are you up to? Uh, I don't see your key. Uh, act. If you're locked up, I uh, have a spare set. Nice crow. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Hmm. I doubt he'd be interested. Um. It's really dirty. Hmm. Gonna try something. Okay. Hmm. What am I missing here? Gotta be something I'm missing. Hmm. 
Ah. There we go. Here you go. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Maybe this one. There we go. Well, that's it. I don't think I ever saw that news headline. Okay. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Gave me one like this for my birthday. Ew, it's soaking wet. Hmm. Oh, wait. Except for those beef squid. Here we go. That's a lot of quarters. 1968 1974 Okay We're making progress Here we go. Whew. Okay, now. Okay, now... What am I missing? Because I need to get that cat that has the stripe like a skunk.
trying to think. Not gonna work. 